Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to talk about the languages and frameworks I did in this year 2022 and what I'm going to do in next year 2023. So let's get started. So this year I actually had two jobs. Uh, so the last job I had, I quit in March. And since March, I've been working on this new job. So in my previous job, I was basically creating the whole web pages for different products. And that job was not necessarily hard from a technical point of view, but it was really hard from product point of view. I mean, it had so many deadlines. Like every week I had probably two or three deadlines I had to meet. And then I was working probably 10 to 12 hours each day, probably 60 hours a week. So it, I was working really hard and uh, I was basically working with React. So React was the core technology we were using. And from CSS point of view, we were using something like Tailwind. And uh, when I started that job, I was really poor in CSS. I mean, CSS was my weakest point. And they gave me this project where I had to design the whole website. I mean, the whole web page uh, with the help of this library they created. And so I was like, hmm, that's going to be interesting. And, uh, but what I did was I spent many hours each day just to understand how to get things done according to the job requirements. And before I started that job, I was not fond of working with CSS. CSS is kind of things which you always think like you know how to use it, but when you actually need to use it, you face so many obstacles. So, but I had to do because that was a part of my job. So that job improved my design skills because as a front-end developer, you need to have good design skills. At least you need to have basic design skills so that you can you can create good web pages. I mean, that's, that's probably my motto of, of doing my job. Like I want to create something which is good, which is which has good user experience and people should not have any difficulty using that product or service. So that's my motto. So, so the good part was I was pretty good in React and then I was doing a lot of CSS. So that helped me to get my this job, which I currently have. And the nature of this job is quite different from what I was doing before. So in this job, I'm extensively using React and I'm using TypeScript. So before that, I, before this job, I had never used TypeScript other than the small projects I was doing before. So it was the first time I'm writing production level code in TypeScript. So what I'm gonna do this year. So plan for this year is to improve my TypeScript skills. So let me tell you one insight. TypeScript has become the default language for front-end. I mean, I know you'll be like, no, JavaScript is the default language. But I disagree. I have seen a lot of code bases now and mostly all of them, if not all of them, are using TypeScript. So if you want to become a front-end developer in 2023, make sure, yes, you need to do JavaScript, but make sure you are also doing TypeScript. So start learning TypeScript as soon as you can. I'm not saying like, TypeScript will replace JavaScript completely. But whenever anyone will ask you to do production level code, they would expect you to know TypeScript. So I would say make it a priority. And another thing I want to do this year is to improve my React for sure, because I still have a lot of things to improve upon. And the next thing I want to do is do more work in Next.js. So Next.js is kind of a framework built on top of React. So another insight I'm saying is a lot of companies, they're using Next.js as their default front-end framework. And no one's using single page application like we were using a couple of years ago, uh, because now we have single page applications. Now we have multi-page applications. So, and then sometimes we have static, static page applications. So Next.js is kind of best of all words. Yeah, so make sure you do Next.js. This is what I'll be doing this year. Okay, and another thing I think I am I did good this year is I kind of focused on few core technologies that I wanted to learn and then I stick to them. And this is probably I'm going to do next year as well. 
I don't want to hop from technology to technology to technology. I don't want to do that. What I want to do is I want to pick one framework, one language, and then stick to it as long as I can. So maybe this year I'll start uh, working with backend as well. And I'm thinking of starting with Node, and then I'll do Express JS. I think that's the uh, framework for backend. I did some backend a couple of years ago in Python, so I know the basic concept of REST APIs, but I'll probably uh, dive deep into that. So yeah, so that's also in my bucket list for this year. And another thing I want to do next year is probably do some kind of certification in Azure or AWS. I did work in AWS a couple of years ago, but I think I'm going to switch to Azure because I think it's in more demand. Uh, and uh, yeah, I'll probably do some basic level certification for that as well, because I think as a developer, as an engineer, you need to know some basics of DevOps as well. Nowadays, I feel like, like you need to know how to do continuous integration. You need to know how to do continuous development. So yeah, I'll be doing that as well. The next thing, probably the last thing I want to do next year is do some basic machine learning. I did basic machine learning when I was doing Python, very basic, like I just watched a couple of tutorials and tried to make something, but uh, was nothing in depth. But maybe next year, if I have time, I'll try some machine learning. I think you probably have seen uh, that we have new chat GPT where you can just put your question and it will give you answer. And the cool thing about chat GPT is that it doesn't use internet. So whatever query you put into chat GPT, it will not go to, uh, I mean, it will go to a server, but the server is not connected to internet. So it has its own brain and that brain do all calculation and everything and give you some reply, which is crazy. If you think about it, like they have created actually this brain and this brain is made out of all the text we have written on the web. So they scrap all the web, create this data model and then put some algorithms and then we have this enormous internet brain without even an internet. That's so cool. But yeah, that's the focus for next year. So I'll be doing TypeScript, Next.js, Node.js, Asia, and finally machine learning. So these are my five goals for next year. I mean, I mean we'll see what I can do or what I will not be able to do. But that's the goal for next year. Hope you have liked this video and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.